Alright guys, so we're at the end of the first test of the power light. PLFT12 100 too. 100 amp hour based. Let's have a look at what our voltmeter says. It's self cut off, the laptop stopped inside. It's at 11.2 uh, volts. 1126 watt hours. So it's bounced back nicely because our cutoff was 10 volts if you remember the other video. Where is it? Amp hours. Missed that. Twenty-nine amp hours. So that's a hundred and twenty-nine amp hour. Because uh, it resets at a hundred. A hundred and twenty-nine amp hour. Look at that bad boy. 1.12 kilowatt hours out of him. Alright, I need to get him on the charger. We'll uh, put the uh, bigger one on there and see what that reckons. That is quite a good thing. Um, it's higher than I expected. That's the first test uh, that I've done on these. Uh, the bloke I bought them off got 116 he said he only tested them once so he brought them out of their standby state so we got that on video didn't we that's right first test on the top of it 129 AH how many watt hours was it? Eleven hundred. Okay, so that's test one. You get the big one that's even higher in amp hours up on there, and um, let's see what that does. I think I might be going back to buy the rest of these. All right, guys, I will. Uh, Come back when we've got the other one set up, ready to uh, do our test, and uh, we'll start that one's test. All right, then the next contender is the big GS Hisua PWL12-100. Um, yeah, 100 at eight hour rate, so it's going to be heaps more. Be interesting to see what we get to with this one. The test already started. So I've plugged it in, and straight away it's gone to uh, start charging the laptop inside, which is flat. Now we had 12.9 as a resting voltage for reference. And uh, yeah, give it a couple of days of running the uh, goings on inside the uh, inside the computer room. Mainly just one laptop, but we'll see what uh, see what it has to say about that after. Uh, after it discharges to a stop then we will uh, make another video and regroup I'll let you know what this one tests at and then we'll work out what I'll go and buy whether I'll go and buy these should plug that charger into the other inverter actually I'm going to do that um, whether we buy more of these or whether we um, stick with the uh, grey power light ones because they're pushing up into the high 120 amp hour kind of space as well uh, that that is at a full state of discharge so it means if we're doing a gentle discharge to say down to 40% we're still going to get our 100 amp hours perfect to not like 40 amp hours or something drastically lower which is what we wanted to make sure we wanted to make sure that we weren't like missing out majorly on uh, on capacity so it uh, doesn't look like we are we will uh, retest and see what we find for now though, I'm going to start using some of this beautiful sunshine we've got to uh, charge up all these batteries that aren't in the main pack. Um, the main pack's... It's getting 10 amps and the panel's still at 35 volts. So yeah, we're 14.6 we're volts. So uh, yeah, we need to use some power while the sun's shining. And uh, I'll come back and show you some more about uh, this one next time. Thanks heaps for watching. Lead acid battery playlist will either be over here or you'll find it on the channel. 
and there's uh, some subscribe buttons. Thanks heaps guys, catch you in the next vid, cheers.